Hi, Steve Snyder here, and I'm at the National Museum of the Mighty 8th Air Force in Pooler, Georgia, just outside of Savannah. And I'm in the particular area of the scape and ev evasion uh, exhibit here at the museum. And that's a special meeting uh, to me because my father was uh, uh, evaded, uh, captured. He was missing in action for seven months after he bailed out of his plane, which was shot down on February 8th of 1944 on a mission to Frankfurt. And normally the underground tried to get down airmen uh, back to England out through various escape routes, down through France, uh, across the Pyrenees Mountains, into Spain, and then out through British controlled uh, Gibraltar. There were a number of lines. The Comet Line was the most famous. And these people, just citizens of the Netherlands, Belgium, and uh, France were extremely brave to help these down airmen. Uh, they risked uh, their lives and those of their family and friends by helping these guys. We're going to come around here now and we're going to go into uh, an exhibit that looks uh, what a, a home uh, might have looked like back at that time. And this is the entrance to the, to, to the home. Um, many of the, uh, the helpers that uh, assisted my dad and his crew were arrested, some tortured, some pr sent to prison camps, some killed. Um, they were just extremely brave people. My, my dad said that uh, they would give him uh, their bed to sleep in, uh, give him uh, the best food, the majority of the food, just wonderful people. And there's two helpers that are in this exhibit that I know personally have the uh, honor of, of knowing. Uh, there's a picture of uh, Yvonne uh, Daly Brusselman with her mother. Uh, Yvonne uh, lived in Brussels. She was 11 years old at the time, and they helped uh, numerous downed airmen uh, escape uh, occupied territory and get back to, uh, to England. Also, they hit a number of downed airmen. Uh, Yvonne is uh, on the right there, a wonderful person. She uh, lives in uh, South Florida right now. And then uh, we're going to come across to here. Um, first, we'll, we'll look up here. That's an example of a hiding place that uh, a gentleman built to hide down to airmen. At any time, the Gestapo could just break in and uh, search the house, just tear it apart, and look for any uh, down airmen, either English or British, that uh, they might be hiding. And in this uh, picture here, we have uh, Marguerite Bruard. I might be mispronouncing her name. Uh, she's in this picture on the right. Uh, they were in Paris. And later on, she moved to the United States, and she married uh, Ed Miller, who was a B-17 pilot. Uh, they moved to Sedona, Arizona, where they were real good friends of my parents. So both Ed, uh, he was uh, shot down and uh, made it out through different escape or, or escape route back to England. And I wanted to come over here and show you uh, a picture. We'll, we'll move this here. This woman, young woman, is uh, Andre de Jean. Her uh, code name was Dee Dee. And she was the person who ran the Comet Line, which was the most famous line uh, to get downed airmen out of uh, occupied Europe. And she was arrested uh, by, the, by the Nazis and interrogated. And she admitted that she was heading up the, uh, the Comet Line, but they didn't believe her because they didn't think uh, a girl that young could possibly be able to uh, run a, a escape route like that. So she was probably the most famous uh, person in the uh, escape routes. So this gives you a little idea about uh, what it was like. I, I think overall, uh, the underground in the Netherlands, Belgium, and France helped about, oh, 4,000 or more uh, British and American airmen who were down to uh, escape. And plus, there were those who didn't actually escape, like my dad. Uh, 
and others who were hidden the entire time until uh, the Allied armies came in uh, the territories and liberated them. So that gives you a little idea. Uh, thank you for listening.